welcome to another episode of Doin's Corner. On today's episode, we're going to be diving deep into the intricacies of relationships, dating, and the ongoing debate of premarital sex. So, I mean, we all know there's this debate about should people have sex before marriage, should people not? And there's also the old, oh, oh, gender roles in the relationship. Should the man pay for everything? Should the woman cook? Should the woman clean? That's what we're going to be talking about today. So stay tuned, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy this conversation. With me today, of course, is the famous Daniel Rega. <laughs> <laughs> Joining me on today's episode. I mean, not just on today's episode, on... On this season. On this season, actually. So, mm -hmm. hi, Daniel. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm well. I'm very well. Thank you. I like your outfit. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, Daniel, nice. let's start. First yeah. of all, the first question I want to ask is this. Do you believe in gender roles in a relationship? Yeah, obviously, definitely. You agree that, you know, the, there's a role that a man should play, there's a role that a woman should definitely, play. Definitely. But I also think that there are some times when people have to, like, switch roles. You understand? Because... You know, as we know that these are things men, there are things that men have to do and there are things women have to do. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it doesn't play out that well. So if the woman needs to step up, she have to, she can step up. If the man needs to step up and take some stress or workload out of the woman, she can, he can also do that. So general is, yeah, is something that is, um, it kind of guides everyone in the society, right? I agree with you. But at the same time, we have gone past that age or era where people would have to be like this is what a man has to do a man must do this or a woman must do this so you can also like step up if you think it's necessary for you to like but is that just like in the marriage or do you think that even in a relationship if you're not married yet so for example now i'm not married to my partner yet do you think that he owes it to me to you know take care of me like money wise and do you think I owe it to him to like cook for him and clean and all of that? I don't think so. It's, <laughs> I don't think it's so. a fifty-fifty something. You understand? It's a fifty-fifty. It's a fifty-fifty something. If you're um, if you're someone that got, let's be honest with ourselves. Um, not every woman can cook. You get right. So so when you are so you should learn how to cook. It's not an excuse. Not right. Every, not every woman. Not every woman can. Okay. Cook. Well, why do I have to learn? Some men really don't you, care. Yeah, but. And you know there are men that don't when care. You, when, when we get married, it's nothing about whether your man cares or not per se. It's about things you have to pass down to your kids. You understand? Mm, it's going to be very bad if you can't cook, your kids can't cook. And you cannot be telling your kids, um, go, go, go to the kitchen, prepare this for me. And, you be, and your daughter or your son will be like, you, Sabi, cook. You understand? So no. it's something It's something I feel like it's it's something that cooking is a, it's not even like, a, it's, it's not subscribed to gender roles. I agree with it's that. It's a um, basic life skill. You should know how to cook. First um, of all. Well, I agree that it's a basic life skill, but still, you're saying, oh, you want to be able to tell your kids, oh, go go to the kitchen. What Definitely. if you don't need that? What if you have? I I hope that I would have a cook when I get married. Not that I hope I will have a cook when I get married. Then when you sure okay, definitely you may have. And I will. I not not may. I will. You may. You can't. I say, will no, have you somebody can't, that you can't will cook say, and you clean. You can't say you you will have. But you can't cooks. tell me how I will live my life. I'm telling you, do you for know a if fact life, that do you I know will if have. life would happen and tomorrow life you are not no. in a financial situation <laughs> where you can. No, it, it's then my husband better be in that financial situation. Then if your husband cannot afford it, I'm not going to marry a man that cannot afford it. If your man okay, if you marry a man that is wealthy and let's say like overnight he loses, he loses his job. Yeah. It's well, not I'm it's sure. Well. I'm sure would have saved up enough money to get. And the money goes because I'm going to be working. There's no way I'm going to come back from work and then I'm coming back home to cook and clean. That's definitely that's not going to happen. No. Okay, there's a war going on, for example, now where you can your money is practically useless. <laughs> Why are you, you thinking no, of no, all no, this? No, it's, it's not extreme like I'm no, I'm not thinking extreme situation. Mm. I'm just trying to be frank and say with you. You know, it's something that when you plan for something, other things kind of like happen as well, and you can't like say, oh, it must go this way for me. Fair. And there are, there are cases and there are scenarios where money is just, even with your wealth, your, nothing is happening for you. And you feel like you just come back to that, you have to survive on the fittest, I think. Mm -hmm. So, you know, okay, let's just drop that conversation about whether your man is rich or not. You understand? That, it may work for you. Hopefully it works it for you. Will work for it will work for you. <laughs> but at the same time, I think, um, for it, like you were saying, if you're married to a man who doesn't care about whether you cook or not, right. you understand? That is your personal, that is your personal um, understanding. Mm -hmm. But I feel like um, your man, for example, that is not every time you feel like a cook should make what your husband will eat or your boyfriend will I eat. I agree. Understand? Because they can use that to snatch your husband from you. Your <laughs> See, let me tell you one thing. A man that can be snatched did not want to stay in the first place. It doesn't happen like That's that. just no, the it's, truth. It's, it's not about how they, good of a cook you are or how... Has, you know spiritual matters. There are still spiritual matters, you know. 
do you really believe in these things? I don't believe in these things. You don't believe in these things? No, not really. I don't believe in <laughs> it. I really don't. It happens. I believe that if a man wants to leave, it's not because of anything that the woman did to snatch him. If you like, cook every day, every day, do mommy's style, wake up in the middle of the night and cook for your man. If that man wants to leave, he's going to leave you for a girl that has never cooked one meal for him. I've dated people in the past and I've not had one boyfriend that has complained about me not cooking, so... That one is there too, but at the same time, like I said, you you need to you need to know how to cook. If there's an emergency in your house and maybe your cook is not available, what do you do? But it's not that I don't know how to. I just don't do it. I can. I'm sure I can. If I try, you sure do. you can or I'm you can't I'm sure cook. I can. I can. <laughs> I cooked in the house now. I cooked. In, I cooked noodles. I cooked. That one does not count things. now. So that what one kind of is, cooking? Like amala and like amala. We do all these. Don't worry about that. Okay, honey. what about if you marry a man that likes to like? pound like you like it it's not possible pounding. i can never marry a man that wants me to pound for so him. you select your boyfriends based on food it's not based on food but i'm not gonna marry somebody that expects me to actually go into the kitchen to pound what about if you marry someone and, and why would i do what, that what if you marry someone and maybe your in-laws want you to like i believe that that's the essence of dating before you get married so you get to know each other before you get married but even in, from the relationship people don't know say and okay, you love okay if you can't love the person okay. if i love you i can make you jollof rice if i love you i can make you spaghetti i'm not gonna pound yam for you if i'm a pounding yam for my kids and i'm sure i will love them to death so i'm not pounding yam for no man see that time comes sure i know for a fact when that time but let's come. let's move on so i mean there's this ongoing debate about finance in a relationship first of all how important do you think finance is in a relationship it's very important because no one wants to marry someone that drinks gary and granite every morning <laughs> no it's very important let's look at ourselves i'm I have, actually I have, shocked no, no, I, have, I have sisters you understand i have sisters i don't want my sister to be like oh uh, I, I met this boy he's very pretty or he's very cute but not get money oh. like <laughs> no one wants to hear that one you understand we want someone that in as much as let's say the guy is kind of like building i expect my staff to also have like a maybe like a daytime job or something like a career yeah. you are you need to have your own money because it's not you, you don't have to rely on your boyfriend or your husband to like i want to buy part give me money mm -hmm, i want to mm -hmm. buy even if it's panties or bra you right. understand you need to take care of yourself too you understand your man can step up and like maybe spoil you once in a while get you or you put some um, amakeleke wig you put on your head <laughs> that is what's one thing but finance is very important you understand and you. it's also very important for a lady to also have her own money so that when something happens you can also step up for your man yeah you get it i agree i i absolutely agree with you on that i think both people need to have money of their own the man and the woman before getting in the relationship because i keep saying this thing eh when somebody is providing your need, it can feel a lot like love. You don't even know when you're not in love. You don't even know if you are really in love with this person, if they are providing. If, for example, now, you didn't have anywhere to stay, you found, you met this man, he just gave you a place to stay, you know, set you up, every, you will start thinking you are in love. But the truth is, the moment you no longer need him, then reality will set in like, oh, okay, I don't really like this guy. I just needed him at the time. So I keep saying it. I, one of the riskiest things you can do is to get married and want to just be a full housewife and just completely depend on your husband without having any money saved. I don't, I don't, no. I don't support that anybody should be a full housewife. Definitely not. I don't. I think it's too risky. It also brings some kind of unnecessary insult and disrespect. I agree you with that. You understand? When because with when someone comes and like, oh, what what do you do for a living? Ah, now me just they take care of house now. Mm. I mean, your mates are outside there breaking records, doing something reasonable. You can yeah. uh, even if you have to be at no, home. I you, think you can, you can also, no, you can also be at home and still be doing something. Like exactly. You can be a content creator, for example. Mm -hmm. So you don't have an excuse to be like, I just I, I wake up in the morning. Because some be like, I wake up in the morning, I brush, I, I bathe the children, I bring them for school. Uh -huh. And so, <laughs> what do you now do? No, when but that's in that's also a lot of work. To be honest, taking care of the house is a lot of work. I'm not gonna lie. It's a lot of but work. But I don't think that it's a lot of work. But people have been doing job. it. People have. I mean, in Lagos, for example, people, they they do that and still climb all the way with pregnancy. So you don't have any excuse to be like, oh, I, I, this the, uh, taking care of the house is twenty four seven, twenty four seven. But what they, if you have a partner that wants you to be a stay at home wife? Like, then what that if man I obviously doesn't love you because I will keep saying it. There's no man that will love you and will tell you to stay at home, just be dependent on him. You need to have a career. I mean, what are you trying to tell your kids? But there are people that are not career people. Okay, what will happen if the man not dies? True. I agree with you on that. The True. man can just make tomorrow morning. True. I want to see, man, all these family people just come out and be like, oh, yes, yeah, uh, one quality picking mm -hmm. the houses. You have seen these cases happen several, you understand? You so need, I will not be clueless. You don't my sister will not even be a full time from. housewife. I it will agree. not happen. I agree. I would never be a full time housewife, mm -hmm. too. Even if I'm married to the wealthiest man, if anything at all, at least I'll have a Which kind of wife do you want to even be exactly? Because you say you will not be cooking for your husband. No, no. I will, that's why I say I will not be a full time housewife. You'll be a part time not, housewife. No, I will be working. 
I'll be working, but of course, I will still help around in the house. So I you, believe, see, so, let me, let me okay, explain. Okay, wait, wait, let me just ask you, which kind of duties do you think you'll be doing as a wife? I take care of my husband's mental health. Make mental sure, health, like how? Make sure he's good so that he can go out and make more money for the family. Make sure he's fine. Make sure he's good like how? I don't understand. I take care of him. I talk to him. If you need somebody to talk. See, sometimes people underestimate the power of having somebody, having a safe space. Someone you can come back to at night and talk to and cuddle with. That's very important. Honestly, as much as we try to downplay it, it's important. No, it's important. But... Here and there, I'm going to take, see okay, me. Okay, I'm so going to be very involved come, in my So when kids. your husband comes home now, you'll be like, oh, are you back? In Kechi, serve or food? No, I, do, I would always serve my husband. I the want food to that another woman cooks. Yes, but my, my, the maid will cook. Yes, for sure. The maid will cook. I will serve. Once it's, it's not ready, a good... Um, my, I'm not going to lie to you. It's not... It's not who it's, says that it's to not, you? It's not. To you. It's not. Don't it's speak not. for every man. No, I'm not speaking for Daniel, every man. I have I'm, I'm, dated I'm not... men. They've not complained about this. Trust me, the cream, the, the cream, the la cream men, they don't really care about these things. They don't well, care. I'm not lacrim de la cream man, Shia. <laughs> they didn't bring me up in a lacrim de la cream house. Anyway, if you are what obviously you're watching, you, you're watching, right? Go and learn how to cook, you understand? Cook for your husband. Honestly, it's not about because you can still have like you can still have the money. That I've, I've met, I know people that they are rich, they are wealthy, mm -hmm. but they don't eat any other person's food apart from the food their wife. Then cook. they can't be my husband. And they different men for different I don't people, mind. Shia. I don't mind. Like, say, okay. Weekend, I cook for my husband just you cook to rice just and make spaghetti. Him. Yes, spaghetti, jollof rice, white rice. So you cannot go to the market, buy banga, pound. No, I will not go to the market. That one it. I know for sure. I will not pound because it will affect your not. makeup. I'm by not, your no, week. it's not because it will affect me because we have somebody, we have staff for that. Which means, they, which means they don't Remember, I'm a husband. working it's wife. Just a one way thing. I'm a working wife. Oh, no, be say, I they go office too. Oh, go you, you, work. Oh. So, you know, remember, uh, uh, not be your mate, they wake up by 4 30. No, be my mate. No, be that person, no, be my mate. She gets her own mate. No, what I, what I mean, when I mean mate, I don't mean I'm not no, I'm not I know, when I mean mate, I mean your fellow woman. I know, woman. like my fellow woman. Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe she gets I don't know, to each his own. I'm not bashing women. There are women that want to wake up by 4 a.m. to you cook can't for no. their husband. Oh, Since your husband good. is rich, you can just pick one day, for example, like let's say Saturday or Sunday. Hey, that's then just what I'm relax. Saying now. Yeah. Let me just sit down and cook different soup and stock in the fridge. No, that's what I'm saying. It, it will not be different soup. But different spaghetti and sauce. Yeah, it can be um, maybe fried yam and eggs. Well, sauce. to me, she never you never ready for marriage, Shia, but, <laughs> let, but but every. How do you know? I'm actually it. ready for marriage. No, you are not. I think. Uh, well, <laughs> you know, you marry you you marry the whole family, not just your your I, I, mental I, health. I husband. hope that I would marry a man that is ex that is exposed. Honestly, I've never dated a man that is not exposed. And you'll be... What I'll if be you doing, fall in love with, like, I'll be doing a man myself, that is not exposed? It's not possible. That's how is the not thing. possible? I'll be doing myself a great disservice to get married to a traditional Wait, how do you pick man. Your, how, do you, how, do you, how do you pick your man, like... Okay, I need then, somebody that is... You go to Instagram is, and just no, not Instagram. Through. No, this one is exposed. You'll be talking this to this person for a while. When you talk to somebody for a while, you know how they think. You know how they reason. What about this Nigerian movie? You know they try, like, princess meets him. Brickley, no, 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 be me, no, be me. I don't know if you have one for me. It can't. Well, it can't. It can't happen. God can link you There's a question. Anybody. It's not possible. God, even, God knows me. So God's not going to give me a man that wants me to cook fresh food every day. It's not possible. I'm not saying cook fresh food every or day. Or cook different soup every weekend. That's not me. That's well, not that me. Time, I have my strength, but it's not in that department. Where's which department? My my brain is very. I can help my husband make money. Trust me. If that's that's my specialty, that we'll double special. our money so that we can afford staff. Yeah, that's what I can do. Staffs. And I take care staff. Actually, staffs does not have a plural. I have staff as I know that is not it a is staff staff staff. Staff. <laughs> I've, I've There was a staff. question that came to my yeah. head when I was. Do you think there's a particular amount of money that a man or a woman should have in their account before getting married? No. You don't think there's a figure to it? No, because you can have, like you said, different people have different it's different um fo um sticks for different folks. Yeah. So I think like um it's still the kind of person you want to like your target in life. You can be mm -hmm. like, I don't want to marry someone that is the la creme de la creme, like you, for mm -hmm. example. Anyone can just go as far as I'm comfortable and I'm um, okay financially. Right. I just feel like when, if, if, when it's time, you will know, you understand? When, if you have money that can take care of your needs and uh, you have something doing, like mm -hmm. the money keeps coming, you understand? The only thing I would say is that you should have enough money in your account when you want to bring in a child to this world because mm. some person is expensive. You, know? you cannot say Absolutely. because I'm earning 50, 100,000, let me go and marry and maybe you want to give birth now. God, not that you triple it. Like, you <laughs> understand? So And it's so sad because... Like, I'm not one to broke shame anybody because I understand that. See, poor people give hands. birth to poor the most people. kids. No, it's not, it's not broke shaming. It's, 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 just, it's just exhausting, honestly. I've, like, seen, I've seen people just like, I know people that, I, I don't know them personally, but I've seen people because, you know, me, I stay for, 
I won't say it's trenchy, sharp. People call it trenchy, so it's not trenchy, <laughs> but we have light, we have everything, good road, you understand? As in, that's what's important. But, thing. yeah, but, but I've seen people that, you know, I mean, you know where they stay. They stay for like two, two rooms, like, not even two rooms, Sefcon, one room, Sefcon. Right. And you get like four kids there, like, like, honestly, how not they sleep? Do you know what I'm I think saying, it oh is? God. I think because they don't have work, they all they do with their time is have sex, have sex, and no, they have it. work. I, 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 there why are you having four no, kids sometimes, when you no, have life? No can money. also happen to people. You can still have the money, for example, maybe you're living in like um two, three bedroom flats, you can financially spread for this kid, and something happens, and you just have to like. Yeah, that's a, to, that's, that's a different. That's a different. But there are people that just there are people that like don't born. have at all. But they just they just assume that oh God, it's very bad. God that has given me the yes. child to take care of the child. Exactly, like that's and the it's, very bad. it's very, 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 very bad. It's very, very, it's very, very bad. There's very case that you, you, uh, you as a lady, you take in and you just born seven or eight ones. That one's a different thing. I would say that one is. It's a blessing, no. I won't lie. It's a blessing, but <laughs> you didn't plan for it. You know that you open eye, you born in the beginning of each one right. year. You don't burn out. You better, yeah. and you don't even have money to train the other. And then they now make it this anti, maybe a family member's duty to take care of their child. You understand? To, and it's when that like person doesn't do situation. this, then it now becomes a case of entitlement. It's not like, right. Oh, so, she has money. She's not taking care of my child. Like nobody is responsible for your child apart from you. Exactly. People can step in once in a while to just help yeah. out if they want to. They feel like it's not an obligation. It's not a sense of entitlement. You understand? But I feel like. When it comes to relationship and having money, just have enough money for you to take care of yourself and also always, always, always have savings. Always, yeah. always, and always and also, think ahead. Another thing is, I think that men need to learn to marry within their level. That's the truth. Because you, the, the, the thing is, there's social media and there's reality. Yeah. There are people that, as single women, they're doing so much for themselves already. You cannot say, oh, because I like you and I find you attractive. I cannot meet up with your standard. I cannot give you the life you're used to, but I want you to be with me. And if you say no, then, oh, you are broke shaming. Or, oh, you are a gold digger. No, she's not a gold digger. She's just not on your level. So that's also another thing. I feel like sometimes people try to do more than themselves. Like they try to, like you see a man now that is trying to toast a girl that is already buying wigs of 600,000, 700,000, 800,000 by herself. When she starts dating you, of course, she's going to want that. So then she asks for that. Then you start saying, oh, she's materialistic. She's... Nobody's materialistic. You but just... you know, you go both ways. There are some girls that they have nothing. She might not do their account. And they'll be like, True. oh, I've said this in this guy. Probably they are kind of impressed with things they see on Instagram. They'll be like, oh, since I've dated this guy now. My normal would things. be for me that's authentic of maybe like 20, 30K tops. Mm. Like, oh, baby, I saw this um, Brazilian with one in here. Don't worry. It's one time I like something like that. And when the guy says, oh, I don't have money. Let me think about it. Let's, let's. I'll plan for it. Mm. Like, I cannot afford me. Blah, 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 blah. I mean, like, before you even say you want to, like, start buying... Personally, I don't see why someone will wear a wig of 700k. Daniel, I not see why. Not before one head. I see no, why. I, if you can afford it like that, it's not No, if you can afford it, no problem. Mm. If you afford it like that, it's not a None of my kids will wear a wig of 700k. Are you cursing your kids? I'm not cursing my kids. Are you praying that they will not be able to afford it? No, my kids will, will kind of, like, train their hair. That's Brazilian with one. You train it now. Uh, you do your hair. You Permit me to treat all, I don't know how to tell you do and relax and all those things but not my kid will be wearing with 700 kilos unless maybe uh, hey I don't reach that position of maybe I don't get billions for accounts you billions. don't need to have billions I know, I know, I know, I know get 50 million for my account my kid will want to wear 700 kilos it's just 700,000 no. it's just 700,000 how much is bag of rice for example I don't know I have no idea I think idea. it's about 100k now our house will not get a bag of rice, for example. My, my kid will carry something like before wardrobe. <laughs> no, that's it. Of course, if you can afford it. And I'm not even saying that you should now pressure a man to do it if you cannot afford If you can afford it on your own. No, right? I even think that if, if you as a lady now, for example, you're mm. a lady. If you're, you are, you're a lady, you're in a relationship. If you want to go to your kid, go and buy it yourself. Make your boyfriend not buy it. That takes your boyfriend to take care of like provide what? for you. Like you have like, let's say, a business plan, for example. Now you can say, okay, um, baby, I want to open this, um, I don't know, maybe spa or something. Mm. Can you support me financially? That is there. I'm not going to call the friend you are going to carry your wig expense for my head. No, no. I don't buy wig for my mama. It's not mandatory. It's not mandatory. No, but, no, but, buy, but ladies, can... ladies feel entitled to it. Um, I don't agree that we should be entitled to it. But like, if... Why are you people well, are just agree now because no, 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 no. I think no, he no, should no, be because, able no, no. to. He should be able he to buy it. But it's not when, compulsory. It's not like you have to. Like, if you are saying you he should be to. able to, you are he saying that to. at some point you should be able to. Yeah, like, you should be able get to get me that seven hundred thousand week. Absolutely. Now what I'm saying, you no. Know, if you want seven hundred thousand week, you save up your money. I, I believe the man gives you money regularly. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Save up the money now. You can buy the wig now. No, I can buy it by myself. But sometimes I want my partner to buy it for me, and it's not a big deal. It's a big deal if you cannot cover that seven hundred thousand without shaking. I, if he cannot if he cannot 
in the first place. And if I, he does not in want In the first to. place, I promise you that my partner would be able to cough it out without shaking. I tell you that for a fact. See, where all these things, we're speaking into the future, right? You're speaking what you want. What do they call positive affirmations? Like what do they call those things? I don't know. Whatever you definitely. want, you say it into the uh, universe. Me, oh, Me I will marry a man that can easily... My kids will not be work, working with your 700K. So you don't want... So you don't... What if your daughter just happens to have the money like that no you if she wants to buy it fine but me i will not open my i, I see parents do the, those kind of things they will just be like oh you graduated from school take this venza like i don't understand that's a good thing that's that's how because it should be are you not supposed to graduate from school no but like if your parents can afford to do it why won't they do it if your parents can afford to give you a good push like okay now you're done with so it's school, the venza that will give you a good money. push let me tell you, one of the plans that I have for my kids yeah. is the moment I get pregnant of my for my child, you open a trust I, fund. Yes, and start putting in money there. The moment they're done with school, and then now I give them all the money that I've saved up for them. And for me, that's my own investment. That's my own way to say, that's a good start investment. your life. This is, hey, that's so a good investment. But it's, it's, that one is trust If I have now. a car different. to give them to, I will do that. I hope that I'm able to afford it. So if, you're, if, you're, if your kids finish, let's say, maybe they, I don't know if they'll school in Nigeria, Shab, but you By have God's grace, I hope they do. And anyhow, Shab, they'll still come here and meet the way in this Nigeria. <laughs> let's say your kids, now, for example, they finish work now. You'll be like, oh, you're you done with work. I see you got two A's. Which card do you want? Do you want GLK or you Ooh, want Lexus? That's what I want to do for my kids. Mm, they don't have post on Instagram. That's what Look, I want to do. By God's grace. Me. And the funny thing that is the pop with us, like, I don't think that is kind of like a mindset you want to like give your kids. Why? I don't think it, it just, it just, when you train them, you know, most people now, for example, most celebrity kids that are out of touch of reality, out of touch with reality, you understand? They don't mm. understand that 5K is a big deal, 2K is a big deal. No, I think there's a way to make your there is, child understand that it's see, not possible. It's tough out there, but it doesn't mean that they have to suffer it's because not it's possible. tough out there. It's not. You if can, you can you still be rich, you can like still that. be rich and. Um, let your kids know that there are some things you have to like work for yourself. I've seen people that do, that have done it. You understand? Mm -hmm. I don't feel like like when you start giving that kind of like oh, I do this for you, I do that for you. When they're in a relationship now, they will feel like if my mother can do this for me, you as a man or you as a woman, you should be able to provide this. No, for I me. don't think so. I think that while providing don't forget that you're not for, your kids, for your husband, though. No. Eh? I because, forget no, that. Yes, <laughs> because when you're when you're now they are seeing you every day and you tell your kids like uh maybe your kids like, let's say they're dating someone, for example, maybe someone that likes you because everyone has different luck, you understand? Mm -hmm. And they get to meet someone that like, oh, how far I would like to eat um, maybe vegetable soup and pounded yam. And like, oh, no, I can't stress myself. My mom don't my mom don't do that. Get a nanny or get a chip No, or something. The, the thing is you're talking like as if this thing will happen. In, once you get like once you get married and that's why while you people are dating you already know the type of person you if i already wasn't cooking while dating why would you expect me to now start doing it when we're married i feel like this is why i would have this conversation with my partner while we're dating so but that you, you know understand that people's character change after marriage all those i love you honey move okay Valentine then things. we're going to have problems that's why i'm not against but you divorce. Expect, you expect, i'm not against but divorce. you expect your even when you have kids. I'm not against... No, you have kids. I don't believe that you should stay in a marriage just because of kids or just because, oh, you want to remain married. I think it's, you owe it to yourself to be happy too. Yes, understandably. So if but I'm not happy, I'm not going to... Especially you if know, it's something you know that, that I've said to him before. I don't know if you're a Christian, but I think, the, I think there was I a time a when, they, when they said... Um, I think I don't know if I don't know if I'm quoting the Bible right, but I think they said the um, only valid reason to divorce is if you catch your partner cheating. I don't know if I'm right mm. or wrong on that aspect, though. I don't think because of maybe your husband. So what said, if he's beating you? That one is different now. Sexual assault. First, first. Or what if you out fall out of love with this person? Because that's why possible. would you fall out of love? It is possible. It happens. We're human beings. The only thing that is constant is change. That's what I'm saying. It happens. So you can love somebody today, and then. You are evolving. You are growing. In 10 years, you are no longer the person that you were 10 years ago. You are no longer feeling that person you, you, like that. You try to recruit, if you keep falling out of love, what the guys like the next partner, you won't fall out of love. You know what? We're going to come back to this conversation, but we need to go on a quick break and we'll be back in a minute. Welcome back from the short break. We're still on this matter of dating and premarital sex. So we're moving to the premarital sex part of this conversation. What's your opinion on premarital sex? Do you think people should have sex before marriage or do you think they should wait till they're married? It's absolutely wrong. That's not a question, right? It's wrong to do what? It's wrong to have sex outside marriage. 
marital so, sex or not. It's wrong to have sex as a marriage. I think that kind of defeats the purpose of marriage. Mm. So you think we're getting married to have sex? No, I'm not. <laughs> we are not getting married to have sex. <laughs> but, but sex is one of the things that kind of like comes with marriage. Mm. You have unlimited sex, this and that. I think it kind of takes out... Up, Apart from the fact that it's just wrong, mm. at this sin, it is sin. So Daniel, you will not have sex before you get married. Are you, is that what you're telling we me? We are not a topic. Of, no, we are not a topic of conversation. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, we are not the topic of um, discussion here. But well, but, you asked me but, about my own cooking. So why can't I ask you? Why thing? can't I ask you if you are engaging in premarital sex now? I'm not because you're not married. I'm not engaging in premarital sex. So you're a virgin. That one is not. Ah, uh, <laughs> what do you have to do to that? No, 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 I am not, I am not, I am not engaging now. in marital sex. No, I'm abstaining mm. from sex. 100% abstaining from sex. But the thing is that it's not even about you and I having premarital sex. It's just dead wrong. You I don't agree with you, actually, because I believe that, and this is speaking realistically now. No, I know. I believe that one of the leading causes of um, divorce or separation, even whether it's relationship, sex. is when you're not compatible. Um, intimately yes because there's something called sexual compatibility yeah. and you have to figure that out before you get in you have to test it you cannot just buy a car and you do not drive test so test drive the car are, okay let's just say like let's just, men for example now uh objects you can just test and be like, okay it's not i i think i think your blockers is good for me let's just go <laughs> no 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 let, no let, no okay, but it's, okay. it's, it's what, both okay, ways what, it's not like i'm testing the man he's testing you know you're, me you're too you're gonna be a mother tomorrow right absolutely so what would you tell your kids you know you're not in a relationship um i would make sure you test your man be, see your you know what i'll tell my kids i will tell my kids this before you get married you need to check every department that needs to be checked sexual department is a very important part all I, all I would ask of them is for them to do it I safe. Yes, I'm a Christian. No, you're not. But no, I'm being no, no, realistic. No, no, no. This is real is life. Just, no, this is, this real. is real. I life. cannot marry somebody and then figure out that, oh, okay, you know what? We don't get the each other in the bedroom. Good for me. So, okay, how do I... Do you, do you understand that sex is important to some women too? Definitely. It's not just it's, men. No, it's important. There are women that... Sex is important. Yeah. But I think we have made sex a kind of like a big deal these days it is a big deal it's not supposed to be a big deal it should be a big it deal it should not be a big deal it should deal. be because you're committing yourself to this person for the rest of your life okay uh, there, it is important okay, that that person okay, there is, can there is, satisfy there is, there is you this argument that um um broke guys or sabba guys are mm. better in bed than rich guys why don't you go for sabba guys instead since sex is important. No, no, no. I will never put because of sex. I will never put sex over finance. Now, finance. No, no, but you say sex is very important. Sex is important. Doesn't mean finance is not more important. Sex is important. But it's see, Daniel. The truth is this. Let's leave. The Bible you is know, one you know, thing. You know, when, we're talking you, realistically. The Bible now. is not one thing. The Bible is everything. The so Bible is Christian. okay. Yes, the Bible is everything. I would agree with that. But still, we have to speak realistically. I know. You can. You can still abstain. No, you can, you can but I don't think you can still let I, I think you're doing yourself you know, the, a disservice. The thing, the thing is that the thing I is think that, you're doing yourself a that if people have not like jumped from one partner to another, or maybe like tested different, I don't know what you guys call it in mm -hmm. sex department. They will be example. satisfied if they when if when, when you are having it with the first person for the first time, or let's say you're not too exposed to different styles or whatever mm, you call them. You don't know good and bad. You don't know so good you... and bad sex. You will you will learn to adjust to your partner. But I think since people have said, you know, uh, um, Alex was better and um, OKK, OKK was better. You understand? So you start doing comparisons. And most of the time, you guys use, um, I would say you guys, you put that uh, supporting primary, which is also wrong, by the way. <laughs> you guys use um, what you guys watch in movie, how this one throw this one to the floor and throw this one off, throw two leg to the roof. All those things to like. No, those things are not very realistic because even those movies we watch they are acted that's the more reason why you need to do it before you get in so that you can it's not even about the okay, man so so you're you. telling young ladies now are looking up to you that oh it's okay oh, just Daniel, don't spread your legs point. like TV. i'm not saying no, no i'm no. not saying it's okay spread your legs like tv what are you saying? i am saying it is important for you to be sure that you're compatible with your partner okay, it's okay. sexually before oh, you get into then how do you because how do you how do you, you, you check by spreading your legs if you if the person is committed to you and you people are walking towards marriage, please by all means spread your legs. Spreading your legs, spread and, your and legs, it, and use condom. Okay, well, be use safe. Condom, condom yes. is not even hundred percent guaranteed. People yes, still use condom, but, and, and, but and, it's the safest you can get these days. The so safest you can get you can, is to abstain. Abstain is the safest you can get. I mean, if you want to abstain, by all means. Which for means, me, oh, I would say like, you need to test like it. Catholic, you'll be going for confession. I think every every week, every, every week. Or, or three times a week, if possible. I want to be careful. I will make heaven. That's the thing. That's the issue. You no. people think I don't think that God reasons the way. Why you do you guys think reason. God picked um, Mary? Was she a virgin? 
Oh, she wasn't a virgin. Oh, okay. oh my God. <laughs> she was a virgin. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know why God picked her, but I think God could have picked him on somebody that wasn't a virgin. So I don't no, think definitely he was, not. I don't think her being a virgin was the reason God said, "Oh, it is you." The, the reason why I, said I don't think God Mary. thinks the way you people think. It no, will that, shock it, you. God it will shock no, you. Say, God, God but when we last God there, God when we reach heaven, I'm going to give you water like this for health. Stay down and drink After water. After spreading legs. Then, uh -huh. No, don't work like that. Because it's about who you are. I know. Are you but, a good person? At the same time, okay. You when you are saying premarital sex is a thing, you are saying it's okay for. Yeah, that means you're supporting baby mamas. No, the because, fact because, that you're no, having no, premarital because, because sex does not because, mean that you have to have so, a child for no, me. No, no, but, so, but if you can but spread, actually, no, no, if, if, if you can spread your legs before you get married, then what's the remedy for you to get pregnant before you get See, married? See, there are different things that lead to being a baby mama. It's not like as if you just spread your... There are certain times that people don't plan One for it. One thing it leads happens. to it. You open leg, you carry it leg. It happens. But I agree that... See, let me tell you. It's not like I'm supporting baby mamas or anything. But the fact that you have gotten pregnant for somebody does not mean that you people have to be in a marriage. That's the problem. People feel like because they have a child with this person, oh, this person has to marry me. No. There's a different thing. Before. I can... I can be, you can be a no, great no, father, there, but you might not be a great there's partner. There's a different thing between... Uh, there's a different between... Um, we got married mm. legally we did everything you paid my bride price and we had kids and maybe in the course of doing the time of marriage thing didn't just work out i left you left we just separated we're cooperating now mm. then we didn't get married you did not meet my people nobody in the community know that you paid one around my head and i just carry belly that was, that okay, was so are you belly. saying that they should not carry belly? So I'm saying that they should buy, they should abort because they will not stop having sex. I am not. So saying, are you saying that they should, are you are you in support of abortion? Definitely not. Okay, so then they should have the baby. So if it has happened, no, that but if you, can, if, you can, if you can close your legs and prevent anything that happens, <laughs> it's abortion, not as not? easy as you are making it seem. It's close very your... easy. <laughs> it is very easy. It's just decision you have to make. Daniel, we have to have fun in this life. Do you realize that? You can have fun without. Oh. No, I think I think one of the reasons why one of the reasons why I'm most so people, one of the reasons why most people even cheat these days because mm -hmm. they are not satisfied. It's not even about how many people they date. They can date the best guy. Yeah. With the best anything that you call it jumbo or whatever you understand <laughs> and even as a dad they're not satisfied because they've tested okoro okiki and every other person on the streets no no our but you know, when, when you, i don't think you should advise your daughter not to test it or before no because, I will. okay so okay so how would you deal with a situation where you've gotten married to this person you have never done it before and there's a and then you have found out now that you know what well, you probably are not compatible sexually. You will learn to so be compatible now. You can't learn to be compatible. They're saying you you even need to know what type of person. They're saying people that are not teachable. Like you're trying to teach him, like, babe, I need you to do this. And just like, no, no, no. no. I, I can't. You need to know if he's a teachable person. You need to know if she's a teachable person. You need to know if she can. It's important. I'm telling you, it is very important. If so no, you're not living okay, in the okay, real okay, world. So what though. you're saying, so what you're saying now is that now that you have you have you're in a relationship, right? Um, you have a partner, so you're mm -hmm. saying that okay, your partner is also free to like test from other people to make sure that you're the person he wants. No, that's not what I'm that's saying. saying. If he's dating me right now, as he's dating me, he should test from me, and I will test from him too. By the time we're then done, then how with will the he know that you are the, you are the does, best test run out there? I don't, no, you're not looking for the best. Nobody no, said no, 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 you're, 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 you're not looking for the be best. The, thing, the truth is, there would always be somebody better than your partner. There will always be somebody finer. There will always be somebody richer. There will always be somebody better in bed. I'm, 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 I'm saying department. in every department you're looking at, there will always be somebody better. You're not looking for the best. You're just trying to make sure that you people are compatible. So all at the very least. Before you, they were not compatible. They were not compatible. <laughs> <laughs> they were not compatible. No, but that's not the only thing that you use to decide whether you want to marry somebody now. So no, it does not mean that because you're compatible in bed, you have to get married. No, that does, it does not mean that, but you have the to check like, that one. The same the way you are, you are checking somebody's character, you are checking somebody's personality, you are no, checking if they are giving, you, no you need to check if they are no good religion. in bed. There's no religion, there's no religion, there's no parent that will tell you, my dear, my son, my daughter, spread legs. There, see, there, there, there are some marry. unspoken rules. Do you know what unspoken rules are? Of course, my mom is not going to come and sit me down and say, babe, go out there and be having sex. Of course man. not. She's not mm -hmm. going to say that, but... I'm sure that our parents were having sex before they got married. I don't know. They wouldn't that tell us that. Unless it's begin. I don't even imagine it's They parents. wouldn't tell us that, but I'm sure they were. It is important. It's not because you're a bad the person. The fact that because you are living the in the real world. Is, the fact that something is being normalized doesn't, doesn't make it right. You know that. I, I know that for a fact, but I just don't agree with the but fact that But you're normalizing that you just, it. You're saying that it's okay. I'm saying it's okay because it's the right thing. You need to check. Is you need to check. right or wrong? No, just just from your own, not just not no justification, just yes or no. Ask the question again. Is premarital says right or wrong? 
I believe is important. No, not check. I believe. No. There's no yes or no. Not no, everything no, no, is black no, or white. Just yes no, I or say no. It, it, no, no, context is important. If you just, no, if I say is, yes, it's okay, then it sounds question, so I, I don't want, it's not about context. <laughs> Yes or no? If someone, if, if a kid comes up now and tell you, ah, I told you, I'm, I'm five years old, I'm, I'm six years old. I just had a conversation with some one of my classmates. A writer says, is he right or wrong? What would you tell him? Just would, yes or no? No, there's no way I'll say yes. No, or just no. say yes or I no. I will not. I cannot just, say yes no, or no. Just, Let me tell no, you the way no, I would answer the kid. It's wrong. Let me. It's not wrong. No, because no, no, it's wrong. It's not wrong. I don't want to say yes if or someone, no because okay. I want to give the kid context. What I'll say to that child is this: six years when old. Are, yes, six years old. What I'll say to that six-year-old is this: when you have age and you have chosen this man to be your partner, and you're sure that it is leading to marriage, I would advise that you test him. Test this thing. Make sure that it works for you. Make sure that you people can communicate sexually. Make sure that you're compatible sexually before you get into it. That's what I would say to him. I would never say to that child, no, until you get married, because Omo, you can get married and realize that this is not working for me. And that's a problem. Yeah. That's why people cheat. That's why they step out. That's people why people just look at reasons. people cheat for different reasons, but that's one of people the reasons. Saying, people people, that's will tell, one of people the reasons. will tell you, I love you, I love my life, no one does it better than you, and they will still cheat. Absolutely, yes. Of course. So it's nothing about like how I said, it, nothing, are. nothing you you do can keep somebody that doesn't want to be kept but it's still important to cross your t's and dot your eyes and that's one of the ways to dot your eyes but do you realize that when you, the, the more you keep because i think it's different for the for it's different truths for different people you mm. a guy can come out now and be like oh i've, I've slept with them um 100 ladies now so they'll be like hey no problem yeah hey, yeah big boy ah you you are you the boy no. but you you as a lady can come out and be like i've slept with 50 guys no the thing is this i feel like you're confusing um Test this thing that you're going to have for the rest of your life, which promiscuity. Which promiscuity? Wait, wait, promis wait, wait, I'm not asking no, you to be thing. promiscuous. It's the same thing. I'm not asking. It's I'm not asking thing. people if, to be if promiscuous. If you start counting people, sleeping no. with different people, sleeping with hundred people, having a body count of hundred or whatever, that's promiscuity. That's promiscuous. Are you that's being promiscuous. Yes, I'm saying where you have chosen this man and you have said this is your partner. At the end of the day, you try guys this step thing. together. And Whether you are promiscuous you or not, his body counts. As you should. From where you said, who dating, says that you have to be a virgin to get married? Who says? No who, one is talking about virginity here. We're talking who about, cares about body that? Count. Cares I'm talking about, that. about use people sleeping around. Do you think that? Wait, I want to ask you this question. Yeah. Do you think that the fact that somebody has a low body count means that they are a good person? No, body count doesn't count. But at the same time, you still have to like keep yourself. Do you care about your your partner's body count before getting married? You, when I mean the partner, I would know if, if I would. Would you care? Would, would you, if you if you met a girl now, you were like, I Whoever love this meet, girl. Your, everything. your past, like I say, your past don't define you unless your past is very, very messy. You understand? Because at the end of the day, no one will be like, oh, you're a rapist before you've, you've stopped for it. Okay, I will forgive you, but your past don't count. It counts because you're a rapist. You understand? I don't want to have um, kids with someone that is a rapist. Like, what, what, what did your mother go to jail for, prison for? Yeah, she was a rapist before. She she was not thinking straight mm. that time. It still counts. You understand? Your past cannot just just wipe away. So, but there are things that you can say. Okay, body count because, I, like you said, now it's something people have, have tried to normalize. So you cannot go because you have slept with them a hundred men. Oh, yeah. So you wouldn't care if your partner. But I will not. Like... But yeah, but I will not still like um say oh, because if you slept with hundred men, I will not think about it. It's something you still have to like. Definitely, it's not supposed to be a conversation to have. Like mm -hmm. how many people slept with. No, there are people that think it's. I think it's a very stupid. It's question a very stupid to question, to be to. honest. I think it's, it's a, a very stupid, stupid question. question. Because, because, uh, but there are people that think that that ask that question. Actually, it there are people make that any care. Sense. There are people that care, that care a lot about. Oh, she's a virgin. I married her as a virgin. No, it's so a virgin. A, don't don't body shame virgin. So I'm not body shaming. Don't, don't, uh, if you want to keep your virgin. if you want to keep your virginity, by all means, I no, think it's, it's everybody's choice. It's, keep if you want to, but you don't have to. I don't think it's a price. It's a price. I don't think it's a price. No. Why is it a price? It's a price because. In today's society, where everyone wants to just like, like you said, spread legs and just test. Run so, does it make you special because you're a virgin? I don't it's think kind it makes of you proves special. that you're kind of someone that is kind of. I don't think. I think it's kind of like gives, um, because to be a virgin to this society is not mm. even easy. To frank as I say, you understand the temptation are everywhere hmm. you get. So it's not something like when your mate are saying, "Oh, um, how far now? I, I won't go chill with this guy." Or blah blah blah. You're like, no, I just. Want. It's not like you are saying I, I don't want to have sex. Or, I don't want it to. It's abomination for me. You understand? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you feel like I just want to keep myself. So it takes a certain, a certain kind of determination and, and restraint. Discipline. Discipline. I agree. To, like, I agree. Yes. So, I, I, so it's not like it's, it's not like it's an achievement, but it's something that you can say. Ah, you try. It's not easy. And that's why most people are like, oh, I married my wife, a virgin, or my husband was a virgin when I married him. Blah blah blah. And you see people like it's a big deal for them. You understand? Me personally, I don't really care. No, like, because I don't you want to test run. I, I, I want to. <laughs> but but the thing is that like we're saying the thing is that i don't think it's something we, you should be kind of encouraging the, the fact that you do something don't mean that oh because oh okay just, just like smoking for example now i don't think smoking is a big deal da, 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 da. 
No, when that, bad. that one is bad for your health. That's different. You are telling me you want to say this person in sickness and in health to you, they do us part and you're telling me you're not going to try it. You're not going to check me. That stuff. That's not true. No, that's not realistic. Daniel, if you're not doing it, I advise you to... Oh, you need to, <laughs> you really need to, honestly, because you know, go good, may you enter, may you come find out, say, ah, oh, more, this is because you, you are a human being. You will want to step out. And, and it's not every the, time that you can see. It's just come in, come out, and you're out. You understand? It's not like, I think people, like I said, people are putting too much emphasis on this. Sex I think it, de it depends on how important it's, 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 it is to you. There are people no, that sex, sex is not very no, important. Sex is to important, them. you understand? But yeah, I will not, not kind of like, okay, because I want to like, um, have the overall experience, like, I've had of our experience. Sometimes when I have this conversation, like maybe guiding of friends, I'm just like, okay, I'll be judging by what I've had from other mm. people. I will not be like, oh, I've, I've, I've done this thing before. I know how to, to do this style or whatever. You know? so mm. I don't think like something that you should be proud to. Like people come out and be like outside and I'm like, ah, I slept with super, I slept with super, I slept with super, and you slept with, ah, you try, I try, you don't, you don't like this here for street. Ah, I say you get some, you just a kind of stupid conversation. No, I, I get that. that. Maybe it's unnecessary. It's too much information. But, but when to guys have. say it, they get applause for it. They're like the OGs or something. But when girls say it, yeah. oh my God, that that's shower. the world we're living in, unfortunately. And it's so sad. I, I hope that women would, you know, start getting comfortable with talking about sex. How many guys have slept with? Not, no, I think that's too much information. I would never come out and say I slept with this number of guys. Do you understand? I think that's too much. But I, but we almost make it seem like as if it's a bad thing, like it's a taboo when a girl talks about sex or when a girl, even not just, not outside or even with your partner. Like people make it seem like, oh, you know, if you're a good girl, don't talk about these things. But I think that that's bullshit. Like, that is nonsense. We walk thing. backwards. We want somebody that's sexy, somebody that would do this to us in bed, someone that will make our toes curl and everything. But at the same time, we don't want, want to have people, those conversations. Man. You don't want. Well, well, so you, you do I, want I somebody to curl. Yes. You no, don't want someone that I, make I your never, toes curl. When I read that time, I never want my toes curl. Maybe it's real. <laughs> Daniel, <laughs> I can bet that you're not a virgin. You can bet. I can Which bet. I with? don't know. <laughs> Let's be serious. <laughs> no, the, the bottom line is that I think the, you matter how you try to justify it, right? right? You matter how you try to justify it. Premarital sex is wrong. If premarital sex was right, people would not be angered that their kids or their children had a pregnant at a very young age. I don't think premarital. Well, let me let me not. I've said my stance on it. I don't want to put it out as a statement. So I'll just leave it. Premarital sex is wrong, whether I like it or not. I'm to not, you, I, it's wrong to everybody. To you, okay. Biblica is speaking. Every no problem. Religion, every religion, every religion is against it. Oh really? Is there any, is there any religion I was okay? I don't. I think there's one. There's one comment that know. say that I won't try. I don't know if. It's but we don't know about every religion. You know how many religions? Major religions exist? I know. The major ones I know. I don't know. I just believe that there's some things that are theory and there are things that are actually practical, real life. In as much as we know, we are, we are living real life everything, now. Everything is theory and everything is practical. And we know we have to like relate to what we see every day. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, like I said, we'll not say because of, oh, because um, stealing is have been normalized and it's like sometimes we, if you don't increase spread of something, you will not make it. We'll not say, okay, it's okay. I get where you're coming from. At the end of the day, we, we would have to Like for example, to... cooking for your husband is also very practical. If, if, if you cannot agree that cooking for your partner is Nobody is said it's a bad thing to cook for your partner. No, but... I'm just saying it will not be an everyday thing. I will not do it every you day. You are saying it's going to be spaghetti and rice. Uh, I would... Yes, I would do the one. I'm not going to... You, you asked me about pounding yam. I would, that one I can tell you categorically that I will not pound yam for my husband. You have not pounded yam for your husband? I, I've never for pounded boyfriend. yam for any boyfriend and I will never pound yam for any boyfriend. Never say never. Never. This one I can say never to it. You Why would I... Step out there's pound or yam. He can pound it. He can pound it. I'll sit in the kitchen with him and we'll have a conversation while he's pounding. Mm. And mm -hmm. when he's pounding, you open your mouth and eat it. Of course. Uh -uh. Yes, he can pound and make the soup. We're partners, right? He's the one that has the strength. He can pound and make the soup. Why not and you we'll pound? He makes the soup. No, that does, that's not realistic. He's the man. He has more strength. And why are we pounding when there is poundo yam? That's the thing. It's not the same you people thing. glorify it's not the same thing. It's not, suffering It's not about so suffering. Much. This not, is so no, no, it's not the same Who thing. Who wants to pound yam Pounded when yam there's poundo yam? yam are not the same thing. If you want to eat pounded yam, we can go to a restaurant to eat pounded yam. No, be your them. fellow. I'm not even going to them. ask my maid to pound yam. That's the thing. Even my maid will not pound yam. Mm. Yes. So what are you playing your maid for? My maid can cook other food. My like maid what? can, like, make pounded yam. I'm not. This is not slave trade. I'm not trying to oh, turn somebody so into a slave. Oh, so pounding yam is not slave trade. Yes, it is. Really? Yes. Why are you getting somebody? Are you going to ask your girlfriend to pound yam? Please, if you are dating Daniel Rega, please don't pound yam for I him. I can pound him myself to please. start it. Exactly. So but if you want to no, eat pound no, yam, you go and pound myself, it. But, but I will not say because I can pound him myself. Once in a while, you will not enter kitchen and pound yam for me. Hey, so you would actually expect your partner to go in the kitchen and pound yam. 
it's not everything. It's not everything I will tell you now. You so sometimes people will have common sense. Wait, like, I want to even ask you this question. There was this clip I saw on I don't know one of these blogs where you know a girl had just given birth like two days ago, and then her husband was seen, telling I, her, a white, oh, white yes, woman, right? yes, I was not saying so that. that oh, my in-laws, uh, your my parents are around. Go and cook for them. There was something he said. The, the woman was like, "No, I can't make it." I've I, I've seen that clip. I've seen that. that one, no, that one is different. Thank you. So do you do you agree that at least when your partner is pregnant, like throughout? The no, pregnancy, when you're pregnant. When you're pregnant, when you are doing on mugo, I think they call it on mugo or mm. breastfeeding or all those things, being very friendly. There are some things you can like cut. Even companies give you. But would you like, expect her to cook at all? Or the moment she's pregnant, no cooking, you can you just be relaxed. She can do some things if she feels like that's some like God help us, we'll have money. So Amen. Oh. Have, that don't mean that I say okay, we will not say you cook <laughs> when we money done, we even want to do. What I'm saying is that when you, when when she's pregnant or let's say like um doing the period of childbirth and everything i'm not saying that oh, you enter a kitchen and you are expected to start carrying the class or go to the farm I, no you understand what i'm saying is that when you are in your normal day-to-day -day life day-to-day -day life for example i think there are some things you could you can do i think do. it's just important to find a partner that works for you i will find the type that works for me but i would rather, you, there I would rather there yeah days. there are different kinds of men i would rather spend my time you know trying to make us money trying to double our money trying to make sure that we're good and we're happy at home than sweeping and the that's floor. the orientation you want to pass to your kids yes if i have a child that loves cooking and loves the kitchen by all means i will push her to cook Take her to culinary school. Make sure that she's good at it. Why but can't you teach her yourself? Would... Why must you take her to culinary school? Why am I going to be teaching? Well, I can teach her a few things. No, like teach her the, the basic things. I can teach her a few things. But if she can... Because it's very that If she it, has to learn very how to like pound baby house, No single woman even say, let me even pound pound the yam. Why? For what? Who they pound pound the yam All of them are just ready. Carry a week. They wait for <laughs> party night. Make her dance. I beg, mean, please, Daniel. Don't tell anybody to pound yam. Please, I have one last question before we wrap yeah. this up. Why do you think people cheat in relationships? So many reasons. So many reasons. People, I think some people just cheat for the fun of it. I think it kind of gives some portrayal. Like, mm -hmm. okay, like, I want to be in multiple... Some people like attention, you understand? And when they're dating, like, when they're in a committed relationship, for example, they'll be like, oh, I'm, I'm already dating a so person. I just like what I see outside. I just want to, like, keep asking me. Because, let's be frank with ourselves, when you are in a serious relationship, committed relationship, all those have eating to all those kinikok, kinikok, nobody will have time for that one again. It will still be there, but not like before, mm -hmm. where you wake up, you are the air I breathe, you summer pass. We even hate all call. those questions, have you eaten today? Please stop asking that question. Some people like it shall, I don't please, see why it make any sense. If you're not going to provide food for me, don't ask me. As in, as in, thank you. Like, if I say what I'm you say eating, is, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to eat this morning? Have you eaten? Let me order for you something. You understand? Not have it today. If you don't eat today, I will invest for you. Yes, if you don't eat, I'll be angry. Oh my God, it's so annoying. You understand? What want to see is, oh, how far? You don't eat today. I should have food for you, or why? Or why I'm not eating? Then you give reasons. You understand? If mm. there's something you can do, you do about you. Do not well, how was your day? Sometimes all those normal self, not even relationship. On the normal day self, how your day they work? I mean, I hate those kind of questions. <laughs> no, honestly, no, that's because sometimes like, it's not if I have a bad day. Mm. You're like, like making me relieve those useless moments. You understand? But like I said, people cheat for different reasons. People cheat because they just want to cheat. People want to have the fun. People want to have that true like ah, my guy is a yeah. multiple relationship. I want to have that. So when something comes out, they'll be like, ah, now you be organic, now you be OG. And there are some girls that like use relationship like, ah, now cash out this period. Yeah. I have a guy that pays for my hair. I have a guy that does my I makeup. Think I have a bullshit. guy for vacation. I think that's bullshit. You I understand? Think, I think but that's but that is what it is today. Yeah. And this economy is not making it easy for anybody. Unfortunately. So you yeah. need a guy that can be... Well, I, I watch five, certain, five, five from I watch certain interviews something. on social media. I'm just like, it's so sad. I feel so bad for men out there. It's sad because women, some women have made it, turned it relationship into like a transactional thing like that's how they make their money that's you how they say women sad. even men men are like there's some men that are like before i give you something you have to submit kudus mm. you understand and, and there are men that collect money from women too let's not even forget there are men that no they have they prostitutes will, they have, oh they have my prostitutes. god they will meet it you goes both ways. and then they will ask you for this have, the next there was one week. i saw there was one i saw when the guy was advertising per night transact i think like <laughs> At night, least that one is his job. Me, I'm not night. shitting on them, but there are men that meet you and they start billing you. Oh, I think I should. And we don't talk enough about these things. We make it seem like as if it's only women that do it, but there are men that do it a lot. There are a lot of broke men out there, and they're packaging, and all they do is collect money from women. No, they never be me, though. There are people like that. Definitely. Money. But I think the reason why that of women is kind of amplified because people pay more attention to that of women. Yeah. And they kind of like downplay that of men. You understand? I'm not going to say like, I'm not going to sit there and be like, oh, no, men are putting in the relationship. I think it happens both ways. Yeah. It happens both ways, but. I think the cheating is more pronounced With in the men. women. No, in the women's part, because the men's part are kind of justified in a way. Because, for example, like I keep saying, 
if a man should be allowed to marry multiple wives, which I think is wrong, by the way. I don't, I don't, I think that tradition needs to be abolished. Personally, I, I don't say it. Mm. I don't see a reason why a man would I marry. I think if you can take care of all of them and you can love all of them without any of them feeling unloved or feeling back in the neglected. Day, I no, back in the day, I would have said, yes, yeah, a good thing. Like, think that that was part of the tradition. But now that I've seen the kind of um, drama that comes with these kind of things, especially when the man is late, so time to divide property. That mm. unit is not, right. it's not always there. Right. You understand? Right. No matter how rich you are, right. there's some kind of like, a, my, you know, she said the man don't get second wife, you can't comment. Yeah. You understand? No one will be like, oh, you are the sister wife, I clap for you. Yeah. No one right. does that. You understand? They'll kind of try to like, when you have issue with someone, you will know. Mm. I mean, no, you don't be sister wife, you're mad. Right. You understand? So those are kind of conversations that you don't want to have your, those are kind of embarrassment you don't want to have, you don't want your kids to face in the future. Right. And like when it comes to cheating, for example, I think that another thing they should do is if in our society, and I think if a woman cheats, let the gods fire the woman. Uh-uh. And not, no, I think, I think that there's a thing where, <laughs> no, I think there's a thing what where. What if, if a man cheats, please, quickly. No, want, it should be, it should be like, with anyone the, that cheats, I have to a face, question. To okay. face the, both the, man the and woman. If yes, a man no, should no, cheat, no, the no, God should fire no, the man. No, yes, that's what I'm saying. Not like okay. when woman cheats, they will say the man will face this, and when man cheats, the woman. I, uh, why would I be taking um, punishment for your own misfortune? Mm, okay. You understand? If anybody cheats, say God fire, but babe, may God. But people just cheat regardless. But, but me, I think the thing is, we we're running out of time. Unfortunately, I'm enjoying this conversation, but we have to wrap up soon. But like, I would say that for me, I think the reason people cheat is just this idea of I can get better. You know, there's just always huh? this thing of that I can get better out there. No. I can get either I can get better love out there, I can get better sex out there, I can I get a finer get out there, I can get just that idea, that notion of I have you get, seen the people the grass put is greener tweets. on the other side have you seen people some put you tweets yes it might not be their partner might be finer but they might feel like oh this person have can people that have, have better have... sex with me or this person can talk have... to me better just that idea of that's... I can get better instead of working on because, what you because, have because people inside. have unrealistic expectations you understand like I keep saying if for example you guys are dating you're dating your boyfriend now when you're married although you, you are going to be like part time wife in a way so, so when you're married <laughs> when you're married I think people yeah, you your, 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 well. your responsibilities <laughs> Have shifted. You don't longer have that time for you have kids to, to look after. Even if you are not you no, get, but your husband, your husband, your husband. Should, when your I husband get married, no my be, husband listen, is going husband, to be he my husband. Be a parity. That he is should be truth. a parity. Your he, wife listen, should be a parity. Unfortunately, when, listen, that we have when, to wrap this when up. kids, uh, we're going to wrap it up very soon. When kids are involved, mm -hmm. kids are always the first priority. I don't I'm not, agree I'm not with saying you. that. I don't agree with you. That I think is it. that I think that my husband it's, should be my priority and no, my kids. No, that's what no. I think. Why I think that people? I think that's the problem. I don't, I don't, you don't mean neglect your partner. I don't know what I mean. I mean you have more responsibility now. You understand? When you wake up, you, first thing you have to think is, my kids are going to school. That I have to put those in check. So you don't mm -hmm. have that time to like, what are you going to eat this morning? Blah, blah, blah. Unless you have maybe like have full time in your hand, like you, you can prepare those things ahead of time. You understand? Mm -hmm. But I think people feel like what oh, husbands are, what some husbands or some wives are expecting are the kind of honeymoon we're having when we're, when we're in a relationship, when we're dating. No, no, we of course not. Now. No, of course it doesn't not. Work no, out. And that's why they need to like yeah. jump out. You but it's important to still understand that your partner is your priority, should be your priority. Yes, but definitely. You have kids or not. No, I have, you I know have what? parents. To, I, I, I think I, we're going to find <laughs> a topic that revolves around this, but we need to wrap this up. We need to. I hope but, that you people have learned a thing or two. Yes, three things you people should <laughs> learn. Make sure, open your ears very well. These are things people should learn. I've said for premarital sex, it doesn't pay. Make sure you go for your husband so that you don't end up doing... Get a maid. Don't listen to doing you. Get a maid. If you can afford it, get a maid. Don't Once in a while, you, can, you, can, you can cook for your don't partner. Don't listen to doing if if you. Even if you can afford a maid, cook for your husband. If you are a man, learn how to cook. Your wife is not your maid. God bless you. If you are going on a date, stop taxing your woman to pay. Unless women also carry your money. Oh, it's what you can true. afford. I agree. It's what you can afford. I don't, agree. Man, not be your ATM. It's not that way. Then premarital sex, no. Condom or not, is not advisable. You understand? I hear you. Thank you guys so Thank much. Thank you. I hope you've learned a thing or two from this episode. We'll see you on the next episode. Bye. Ciao. <laughs>